something that we're not involved in, but is something that's happening on the farm is they're harvesting potatoes on one of our fields. Um, I'm going to link up here the video to potato harvest from last year because I like went down to their plant and everything, did a whole tour. Um, so you guys can watch that to learn a little bit more about it because I am not going to be doing that this year. But I did pop out in the field right now to get some videos of them this year. So that's what they're doing. So I think it's super cool. Wisconsin ranks actually third in the nation for potato growing, obviously far behind Idaho because it's a whole different beast, but it's super cool. So um, these are what the potatoes are in this field. They are actually going and being packaged pretty much immediately because it's not necessarily um, potato weather yet. It's not cool enough, so they can't store them. So they are going up and being um, washed and everything right away and then packaged and then taken to the grocery store. So if you're local, I think they're only local. I'm not sure. But if you go to the grocery store and you see all some potatoes, those potatoes could have came from here. What are you doing? So the machine, the other machine puts them into windrows and then he comes through this machine and picks them up and then it goes into the trucks over there. Okay, so an update from Jeff after I just got out of the harvester with him. So the potatoes in this field are the same variety of potatoes that they harvested in one of our other fields or planted in one of our other fields. These potatoes in this field are super knobby. Um, I have a clip that I'll insert or I'll try and find one. Um, and so they're not the best potatoes for fresh potatoes to have at the grocery store for people to buy. So they are actually um, sending them to be dehydrated and then put into dog food. So they can't really use them as fresh potatoes but obviously they still have a use and don't go to waste. And then we'll, again, as last year, have the local elementary students come and pick what is left in, excuse me, left in the field and then donate it or they can take them home. All right, here's the wild knobs that they have on the potatoes. Not all of them are like that. Like there's some over here you can see on the ground that are not knobby, but these ones, Got lots of knobs on them.
got Jake here, not Jake from State Farm, Jake from Planet Earth Agronomy, doing a little yield estimate on this big corn. Avery's corn is a big corn, my corn is a little corn this year. Well, it doesn't look that bad. Have you been out there lately? It's looking a little bit better, but uh, yeah, Avery stuff's under a pivot, so it's uh, made, a, <laughs> made a big difference this it's, year. So. It's much better than mine. But we're about to do some estimates on it. We'll let you know. You're just getting to work and I'm trying to get a static video. Fair. <laughs> Um, so what I typically do is I'll go out in the field, I'll throw my knife down in some random areas and uh, pick, go up, pick that, uh, pick that plant, and then grab that uh, ear just to keep it random. Um, just because a lot of times you'll be a little bit biased and you'll you'll pick the bigger ears, um, so it, it keeps a little bit more fair this way. But uh, what we can do is we can um, count the number of uh, kernels up and the number of kernels around. Um, so we can multiply that number by the population um, and then divide that by 85, and that'll that'll at least give us a, a general idea. Obviously, we won't know until um, the combine rolls through and it goes across the scale. But uh, um, for this particular corn, we're sitting at it right about uh, 240 bushels per acre, um, which is uh, something to be happy about. Um, looks, a, looks a heck of a lot, lot better than a lot of the dry land over here. This has been a um, high management um, area. It's had adequate moisture, um, so there's minimal tip back. And uh, yeah, stuff's, stuff's looking good. A lot of 16, uh, 18s around. Um, which uh, we, we got to be happy about. So uh, looking forward to seeing how this goes in the fall. So. Roll back. Good. Go ahead. 